and welcome to Home Hope Song, Shelter and Shelter Scotland's carol concert, brought to you from the fabulous St Martin in the Fields, right here in the heart of central London. Tonight is going to be absolutely fabulous. So let's start with our first sing-along carol, Once in Royal David City. Every Christmas, Shelter holds this wonderful concert to help fight the national emergency that is homelessness. We have a great show lined up for you, full of carols, inspiring stories, and even some special guests. We'd love you to post videos or photos of you enjoying the evening at home on your social media channels using the hashtag HomeHopeSong so that we can see you singing along and getting festive. Most importantly, we are here to make a difference. So please, if you can, lend your support to Shelter's campaign to end homelessness by donating tonight. Now you can give us £10 by texting HOME to 70422 or you can donate any amount online by going to the Shelter website or using the donate button on this page. Together we can help fight this national emergency and give the gift of hope this Christmas. Now, of course, none of this would be possible without our event sponsors, Nationwide Building Society. For the past 19 years, they've worked with Shelter with a shared vision of giving everyone a place to call home. And we're hugely grateful to them for matching our funding donations tonight up to £43,000. Double the reason to get involved. Now, I'll hand over to the Reverend Richard Carter to begin our service. A very warm welcome to all of you to this, our shelter carol service 
for 2020. I'm Richard Carter, the Associate Vicar at St Martin in the Fields, and I'm delighted to welcome you all. Unfortunately, you can't be here in person this year, but the wonderful and exciting thing is that more people are gathering for this service than ever before online. And we do hope that the message of this service will be felt in each one of your hearts. Shelter has been campaigning since 1966 for homes that are safe, secure, and affordable for everyone. Reverend Bruce Kenrick and Des Wilson and many others in response to the country's massive housing crisis in 1960s first began to meet here in the crypt at St Martin in the Fields. And of course, they won the support of this church and people throughout the nation. Last year at Christmas, Shelter received 1,821 calls from families who needed urgent help with housing. This year, I think the need will be greater than ever. The message throughout this year's pandemic has been, stay safe, socially isolate, stay at home. But what happens if you've got no place to stay safe? What happens if the room that you're staying in is overcrowded and you've got kids and no place to go out? What happens if you're living in fear of debt and hunger and not sure where the next wage is going to come from? Imagine trying to spend the whole of last year, since March, in one room, an overcrowded room, without any proper facilities or washing facilities. Shelter is needed more this year than ever before. But tonight, we're not just here to remember the struggle and the difficulty. We're also here to celebrate stories of hope and resilience and courage. We're here to give thanks for the work of Shelter and the wonderful courage of many families who've brought about transformation and change in their own lives through the support that they've been given. And we're remembering that in the context of a story that took place 2,000 years ago, when a small child was also born homeless because there was no room in the inn. The small child's name was Jesus, and this child transform the world with his love and his compassion and his longing for justice. And we want to do just the same now. Our choir for tonight is the Choral Scholars of St Martin in the Fields and they're here in this beautiful church to sing for you as we celebrate good news on earth and peace for all. May we, on behalf of Shelter and St Martin in the Fields, wish you a very happy Christmas together.
Hello. What does home mean to me? Well, it means security, safeness, snugness, relaxation. It means I don't have to worry about what my hair looks like, <laughs> like today, for example. Um, I can just sit how I like and behave how I like without self-consciousness, without having to please anybody. Just be myself in a oh, kind of a way. Home for me means safety. It's a place where I'm surrounded by, enveloped in the things that I love, the things that mean the most to me. It means security. Family, dogs, warmth, a fridge, friends. Home means safety, warmth, love. Please give £10. Text HOME to 70422. You can donate any amount online on our website.
I sat making my notes for this evening, looking out of my kitchen window onto a very cold day, quite windy, and I knew the wind would be really biting. I could see the tree outside with bare branches blowing around. I was feeling a bit hassled by volume of work, if I'm honest, but I was drinking a hot cup of tea with my heating on and a cosy hoodie. Outside, it was very gray, and I thought to myself, it's definitely winter now. I bet you all know that feeling. None of us are having our best winter so far, are we? Yet this is a season of hope despite the hardship, isn't it? And that's reinforced so poignantly at the moment because we're all hoping to spend Christmas with loved ones despite the stress and fear of the pandemic. And even more than that, we're all hoping for a spring which will bring freedom from the coronavirus. We're all sheltering from the cold and from the virus in our homes, keeping warm, keeping safe, waiting in hope. I can't help thinking about the delivery driver who has had an eviction notice hanging over him for several months, who has no savings, who's going to spend Christmas not telling his three children that come 2021, they will be homeless. The teaching assistant who fled domestic abuse as soon as the first lockdown lifted and has been sleeping on her friend's floor ever since, but can't stay anymore and is choosing between homelessness or returning to her abuser. The hospital porter who was evicted just before the pandemic began and has been living with his wife and two children in one room in a bed and breakfast all the way through the pandemic, including when he had to self-isolate. Impossible when you're sharing a kitchen and bathroom with five other families and they'll still be there for Christmas. The care assistant who has been completely overwhelmed by the daily tragedies in her care home and left her job with stress, having battled the pandemic for weeks and is now buried under a mountain of debt, choosing every month between rent, heating and food for herself and her children. These are the people who come to shelter for help and it can't have escaped your notice that they're all people we were outside our front doors clapping every Thursday evening in the first lockdown. I actually can't describe how proud I am that we're able to be there for the people who have been there for all of us and how proud I am of the way our people have stepped up to the enormous challenges of the last few months. We've had to change the way we work, adapt to different rules and government policies, reach out to people in completely new ways, act quickly to get help to people and to get the government to do the right thing. My colleagues are amazing and none of it would be possible without our supporters. So if you, like me, are watching this wonderful celebration, all cosy and secure, I'm not trying to get you to feel guilty. There's no point in that. If you were clapping those people in the first lockdown, please think now about giving them hope because with your help, we can help. And with your help, we can work together to make sure that the change that is going to come is the change we all hope for. A better world after the pandemic, a change that brings hope and a safe home for everyone. Thank you so much for joining our celebration this evening. On behalf of all of us at Shelter, I wish you a restful, peaceful and hopeful festive season. I always think to myself, why is it me that has to be in this situation? And why can't I just live a normal life? Temporary accommodation, it's not really a good thing, I would say, because it has like lots of people in it. Sometimes like you have to share a bathroom or share a room with strangers you don't even know, and it's not really a nice feeling. But I have to be mature enough to look after my two sisters and be able to help my mum. When I was in uh, my first temporary accommodation, she wanted us to have a good sleep. We would have to take the one bed and she would have to sleep on the sofa bed. And I know it was very uncomfortable for her. Shelter's help was 100% important to us. If it wasn't for shelter, I think we'll still be in that one room house. If we were to get a permanent home before Christmas, it would probably be one of the best Christmases I've ever, ever had.
Help families like angels by donating £10 tonight. Text HOME to 70422. You can also donate any amount online on our website. Now we've still got lots more to come, so please stay tuned. Next up, we welcome some very special guests, the Year 7 and 8 Chamber Choir from Terra Nova School in Cheshire singing Love Has Come. Now the school and their community are long-term supporters of Shelter through their fundraising, volunteering and support. So we are delighted to include them in the show tonight. And whilst they're performing, we're going to see some of the amazing things our supporters have been doing to fundraise for us over the past year. From building a den to running a virtual marathon, 2020 hasn't stopped them for a minute. And we want to celebrate that and say thank you to each and every one of them. I was homeless. I, I kept going into places and they were telling me no. I'm a young man with no kind of other underlying stuff going on, so I wasn't prioritised to be housed. But then when I got in touch with Shelter and I started to work with them, the doors started to open for me. And then off the back of that, I got into the flat that I'm in now and I've been in there for nearly two years. It's the reason I'm working in particular with Shelter is because of the impact they've had on my life. It's that persistence that stuck with me it was that persistence. I felt 
obligated to not fail. And not even just for myself, but like for part of the help that I got as well. There's always going to be an element of homelessness, but the numbers are just shocking at the minute. And when you go out there and you see for yourself the different types of people out there, we've got teachers, doctors, there's all different walks of life ending up out in, in the streets now. That can't be right, can it? And for a minute, I didn't know which way it was going to go, but I always kept hope. But if Charlotte didn't come in and help me when they did, I could still be out there now. I'm just trying to climb up this hill, innit? I know I've only come halfway and I've still got some to go, but when I first come into contact with Charlotte, I was at the bottom of the hill. You know, my mental health was gone. I was like depressed, stressed, angry all the time. And then when I got somewhere to live, that kind of took a bit of the pressure off. I feel like I've got a lot of my strength back. I try to keep myself busy in productive ways that don't make me feel like I'm wasting my time. Oh, and I got my cat as well. So I got him to look after him. I'm in touch with all my family. I speak with all my friends and stuff and trying to keep myself all right and above water. Please give £10. Text home to 70422. Donate any amount online on our website.
please give £10. Text HOME to 70422. Donate any amount online on our website. Togetherness means the people nearest to me that I love with our arms round each other, laughing at the same things, talking about what matters to us. When I think of togetherness, I think of love, a connection to a loved one, maybe a pet, maybe your community. I think of joy and what it means to be alive, to connect to the world, to a person, to nature. And what do I picture when I picture togetherness? Well, it's going to sound a bit corny, but I think of that scene from the cartoon Lady and the Tramp, you know, with the, the couple sharing a strand of spaghetti and going... So I think of, I think of affection and food and warmth, cosiness, especially at winter time. Lord, you are in every place and nothing can ever separate us from your love. Be with us tonight as we remember all those who need your care, your love, your protection and your safety most. Open the, our hearts to the needs of the poorest in our nation and in our world and all those who are longing for a safe place to live and belong. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20, the birth of Jesus Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was at the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds on the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace amongst those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard as it had been told to them. We give thanks tonight for the work of Shelter and all that they do to help people who are longing for a home and longing to belong. And we pray and give thanks for the many people who are facing with courage and determination and with resilience the fear of homelessness, the danger of trying to bring up a family without the proper resources to do so. 
And we pray tonight that this country will go on and try and protect those who are most vulnerable, because we will all be judged, O Lord, by the way we treat those who need help most. Lead us, Lord God, from death to life, from despair to hope, from darkness to light. Let your hope and your joy fill our hearts, fill this nation and fill our world. Move governments to bring transformation, bring hope and belonging to those who are searching for a home, especially those who are on the streets, migrants or homeless. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Give back to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the afraid. Uphold those who are vulnerable and weak. Love and honour all people, whoever they are. Love and serve the Lord, full of the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be with you all this Christmas and each day of your life now and forever. Amen. Please give £10. Text HOME to 70422. Donate any amount online on our website. Wonderful stuff. I don't know about you, but that has definitely got me ready for Christmas. Thank you to St. Martin in the Fields and our amazing choir for tonight. Thank you to you at home for joining us here for the first virtual Shelter Carl concert. Thanks again to our sponsors, Nationwide Building Society, who are matching donations up to £43,000 tonight. Now, if you have enjoyed this evening, please don't forget to donate on the website or you can text HOME to 70422 to give £10 from your phone. It really does make a huge difference. So, from all of us here, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.